All right, so real quick, we're going to go through some targets of a range trip that Sadie and I went to. And it's just going to be kind of a, I won't say a montage, but just a long, a long range session that I wanted video footage so we can analyze what we're doing wrong, what we can do better, um, and so I can match targets to certain rounds. And so it's just going to be a long range trip on video, but I wanted to go through the targets first. Um, so this isn't in the video, but I wanted to share. That's a, that's a 50 yard group with my old iron sighted 22. I'm really starting to bring that in and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, kind of helps that these targets, these dots are a little more visible. They're, uh, <laughs> they were two bucks at the old buy mart, the old girls with guns. So maybe they'll sponsor Sadie. That'd be cool. Um, anyway, 22 rifle. Um, you guys have already seen that. Uh, this is 25 yards with the 44, and we'll um, get a little tape on this here. We got about a four inch group. We'll call that four, four and a half, four and a quarter, somewhere in there. Decent, um, good enough, happy with that, 25 yards. Okay, so here is one of Sadie's targets and she's shooting at bullseyes individually um, and trying to shoot groups. And so the target looks kind of like, kind of like buckshot. So we're, we're together in a process here of like really trying to analyze what she could do differently and what needs to be done differently. And um, we're kind of, we're kind of reaching out to the community here because I'm not a small arms instructor, um, nor am I a handgun instructor. I'm just an enthusiast. So, um, I think, I think the problem is kind of a flinch jerk in the trigger problem. A couple times today she had less ammunition left in a magazine than she thought she had and had a pretty good flinch. Um, but I'm sure there's some instructors out there and I would love to know what's the remedy for that other than thousands of rounds of dry fire practice. And um, that's my recommendation. That's her recommendation to herself is lots of dry fire practice, but there has, there has to be some other um, some other common remedies for this. Um, here I shot some groups with my nine millimeter with my 45. Here I shot a group with my 45 and some went off the paper. Here I shot another group with my 45 and another one with my 45. I just wanted some practice. I hadn't shot 45 in a while and, um, so wanted wanted to get the recoil impulse back into my arsenal. Um, here we've got various groups with the 9 and the 45. So here we've got 45 ACP, 45 ACP, 9mm, 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 and 9mm. Now, these two groups are with Sadie's 9mm. These three groups are with my nine millimeter and you know, maybe this is fatigue and it's me. I'd be willing to say it's, it's me, not the gun, but I absolutely cannot replicate that with my nine millimeter, which is a second generation TSUS. Hers is the first generation, the Cerakote, not Parkerized one. And I cannot replicate that tight of a group with mine. And this is, Standing offhand, um, no rest of any kind. So, and this is all at 10 yards. We were shooting all these groups except for the big white target with my 44 mag. Except for the big white target with my 44 mag, we're shooting all of these 10 yards. These are confidence booster groups. We're we're trying to trying to 
rebuild our confidence in our weapons. We hadn't shot handguns in a while and we're trying to collect some data about what maybe our personal malfunctions are and we are um, trying trying to build some confidence and, and get better. So here we have a, a shared target between me and Sadie. She had shot a group, shot a group, shot a group. I pasted some up and then I shot two groups at this target. One with my 45 and one with my 9mm. And I think that's it. We had a couple more... We had a couple more paper targets, but I think they got thrown away while we were there by accident. It's just kind of like a habitual, like I peel down a paper target and just throw it away. Um, but with that data going in, we'll compile a whole bunch of the range footage, put it together for no other reason than I think it's fun. And it's a lot more fun than listen to me sit here and jaw about these targets. So. Too, so if I miss a lot, it's not the gun, it's me. No, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want 
Saving those. Oh, I guess I got sidetracked.
<laughs> I like how they all make a different pitch of sound. Like music. But though you did up there at camp. Yeah, but I. It's been too long to remember. I know. Also, yeah. But those fucking kick like a goddamn mule, and they're inaccurate. These, look at that shit. You know. Fucking a. Oh, it's still going. No. It is. Look. Oh, I must have hit record again. Pick me up one of those aluminum brass. Maybe one more. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> 